Hi guys, DaVinci Resolve 20.1 just released five new color tools and I'm telling you these tools will change your way of color grading. We're gonna go from cinematic diffusion to skin fixes that actually look natural. If you don't know me, I'm Frenchie, a professional colorist and I am here to give you my honest opinion on these new tools. Are you ready? Let's dive in. So the first new feature that I want to present to you is the speed tone OFX. So we're gonna go to FX and type speed tone and we're gonna drop it onto it. We don't really know what's going on in the image. That's why I'm gonna go on a grayscale to show you what's up with this image. So here we are in our grayscale and I put the waveform for you to see what is going on here. So you can see that we have multiple speed tone mode. We have natural, strong and custom. A natural is actually the speed tone mode that I think we had in the DaVinci Resolve previous versions, which is actually a speed tone mode that is kind of like having some guardrails and it's pretty efficient if you don't really know how to do speed toning because you are protected to do extreme changes and normally your image will stay quite clean with this speed tone mode. You have also the strong speed tone mode which is way stronger than the natural one and you can see that even in the hue angle you can pivot quite a lot with the red channel, the green channel and the blue channel. And you have custom that allow you to separate the shadows and the highlights over here, which can be quite useful if you want to customize your split toning. Also, what I appreciate is that they added protect neutrals. So it will protect your blacks and your whites in your image and we have the possibility to do the same with the natural speed tone mode. So let's see what it does in our image. Let's go to the extreme. I'm just going to show you what Protect Neutrals is doing. So you see this neon went to a green and if I click on Protect Neutrals, it will keep the whitish neon that we had originally. Also something to point out is that you can preview the influence of your speed tone over the image. I would have preferred just previewing the curves to see where your red channel, your green channel and your blue channel are sitting at because I find that this is making me a bit lost instead of having just you know a UI that show you the curves that for example you can have in the Pexel tools DCTL for the speed toning. So I show you a video I've done about this DCTL over here. So this is really my downside of it. And this also would keep me actually a way of using this tool because what I like is uh, to see what is the effect of the curves on my footage. Also, we had an upgrade in the Lightray OFX and this OFX, honestly, I was not using it that much before because I was finding that the Lightray were a bit too artificial, but they added a feature that actually is pretty interesting and this feature is called Atmosphere. What really changed is this Atmosphere setting and Atmosphere will help to put a sort of a fogginess to the light and so then you can integrate even more your light to your footage and I find that it adds real nice grain and texture. You can see this is before, this is after and I find that it gives a bit more life to the footage. Also there is an OFX that a lot of people are talking about now and I understand why. This is the color tone diffuser and the color tone diffuser has the purpose of recreating filters that you put in front of the camera and you can see that you have multiple presets. You can have subtle, you can have low contrast, you can have strong start etc etc. Let's just go to a frame that we like and I'd like to do a little test with you. This footage comes from a commercial where I was the colorist and I'm going to show you my grade on this. So this was my grade over here, nice and warm. And so what I want to do 
is that I want to see if the color tone would help me to achieve at least 60% of my grade in just one note. And warm dinner was actually the best start for it. So I'm just going to use warm dinner. You can see, so we have a magenta base over here. But don't worry, we're going to change this soon. So you can have less resolution or more resolution. Also, we have shadow clip and shadow clip is quite interesting because we can raise the blacks without going to the HDR wheels and it's the same for highlight clip you can tone down the highlights without going to the HDR wheels and I find that the result is pretty nice also the tone light is the light but we are moving them in a photometric way which is pretty cool and so now I'm just gonna reference my image over here and I have also the possibility to affect the channel of red, the channel of green, the channel of blue. So what I can do is that I can remove some blue to have more yellow like this, to have something like very a summery vibe, very warm, which is pretty good like that. I really like what it's doing already so now i'm just gonna show you the light fall off i don't think i'm gonna change it but if you see the light fall off is pretty good i find it very easy to use than doing it for example with the hdr wheels so to match my image i'm just gonna raise a tiny bit more the exposure over here like that and also a bit of the saturation like this and you can see we are pretty close actually we had the rex 109 that is like that we just did the color tone diffuser and the color tone diffuser is making the image already in a very nice ballpark and now this is my grade and you can see that the step from here to here is not so big anymore and i find that in just one node we achieved so much also we had an upgrade in glow ofx this is the same actually as the light ray ofx i don't really use glow that much if i can avoid using glow i would avoid using glow i normally do my glow with the screen composite mode i've done a video if you want to see now they added the atmosphere let's just have something quite tremendous for you to see so Atmosphere is doing the same as light ray. It will help us to have some texture. So just let's intensify. So you can see what it does. And so then like you can just uh, integrate it even better in the image to make it even more believable in the frame. Also, what is interesting is that now they added a secondary glow and you can see, I'm just going to remove a bit of the spread over here, but you can see that you can change the color of this secondary glow and you can actually really create some grades that are very stylized, which I think it's pretty cool and can be very handy in some situations. The last one is the one that I was the most enthusiastic to test. It is the possibility to put grain in the face refinement tool so after that we tracked our head i'm just gonna put a lot of beauty automatic on him so you can see most of the time the problem that we have with face refinement is that when you are doing a modification on the face then you're gonna have something that is very plasticky and that doesn't really sit well in the image so now that we have the possibility to put grain in our image you're gonna see i'm just gonna add grain on the modification you have done now we can bring back some frequency and some texture which is pretty cool because this is something that i would have loved to have on other projects you can see of course like when you play there is some grain going on but at the same time i find that now it's a bit more natural and it sits a bit more natural 
in the footage so, so this is all for me guys really i find that the face refinement with the grain is a game changer and also the color tone diffuser is a game changer i find that the speed tone OFX is a bit of a miss because i would have loved to have a visual reference of what you are doing in the image instead of just the preview influence because i find that it's a bit difficult to see what's going on the new update of the light ray and the glow are pretty interesting so maybe i will start to put it in my workflow let me know what are your favorite feature out of 20.1 if you are not subscribed to the channel what are you doing guys we are such a great community so come on in you are welcome to come and i see you next time guys see you